5 Simple Tips and Tricks for RPG Maker Tip number one, RPG Maker MZ does have a built-in tutorial system, as well as a very in-depth content system to help you navigate your way around the engine. Just navigate your way over to the Help drop-down menu, and you'll see a bunch of different options, but the one you want to focus on is the Tutorial section, and that is going to, over the top of the game, show you how to do specific things. The other one is the Content section, which goes in-depth about a bunch of the basic game functions of RPG Maker. These are really great tools and if you're ever having trouble figuring something out, check these first. And then if you can't find your answer, check my videos. Text commands. In the text system within RPG Maker, you're able to type in a bunch of different commands and those commands will return different values. So you can type this command here and that's going to return the name of the player, whatever you've named the player. You can return the value of variables. You can make the text wait before continuing on. You can change the color of the text. There's loads of different text commands which are up in that content section. And just have a look through all of those and see what cool things you can add to your game using text commands. Shift clicking. Shift clicking is a really awesome thing you can do with an RPG maker. If you want to copy a tile on your map, what you can do is you can right click that tile and click elsewhere and it will copy that exact same tile. If you're using an auto tile, what you can do is you can hold shift, then right click, and then when you click again normally, it's going to place the exact replica of that tile, not just the standard auto tile. But if you had an auto tile and you shift clicked the corner of a wall, then it's going to specifically place a corner of a wall. Shift clicking is an awesome thing to do while mapping and it can just make your levels appear so much more polished. Don't use this tile ever, really. I, don't use it, just um, this tile here and yeah, don't use it. One of the easiest ways to end your cutscenes is at the very end of your cutscene, turn control switch A on, open a new event page, make a new condition on this page saying that it'll only run if control switch A equals on. And that way, if you want nothing to happen with this event and you don't want it to auto run anymore, you can just have this second event page blank, but self switch A on. Hope you guys enjoyed these quick tips and tricks. If you got major value out of them, then scroll down and smash the like button. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe and the bell icon because I produce some pretty awesome RPG Maker content and you don't want to miss out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. This event page will only run if can swallow. Then make a new condition that this event page will only run if can swallow. Then make a new condition that this event page will only run if can swallow. Why the f can't I say control?